Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to copy and move files. So what I did before this video is I made a couple just quick sample files. I have this one and all it says is my name is Bucky. And I also made a directory called apples and I put just three junk files inside and another directory called bacon. So that's my starting point. And again, all I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to move these around, how to copy them. So I just wanted some sample files to work with. The actual content doesn't even matter. So the first thing I just want to show you guys how to do is just copy a file. So let's say that we wanted to actually let's go ahead and make a new directory. So make dir and I'll just name it a uh, test folder. So now we have a new test folder and nothing is inside. So let's say that we wanted to take this file and copy it inside test folder. How do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You use, actually, let me clear this out. You use the keyword copy, and after it, you give it two pieces of information. The source, which is essentially what file are you trying to copy, and then where do you want to move it to? So we are trying to copy bucky.txt, and where do we want to move it to? test folder so this is the file and this is where we want to put it and just hit enter and check it out so again we're copying it not moving it so we get this one still and now inside test folder look at that looking good so another cool thing that you can actually do is if you want to take this file and copy it to let's say let's say i wanted to copy it to my flash drive I could do something like this. Copy, you always write that. And what was it? Bucky.txt E. So this is gonna copy it to the root directory of my flash drive. Now, what I can do is once it's copied, I can actually print out the contents of it. So DIR E. And again, whenever you use DIR in this fashion, what it does is it just prints out the contents of E and it doesn't actually move your current working directory. So now we can see my flash drive has all these files from before and bucky.txt. So again, that is how you move it within your own drive and also, I don't know, maybe you have a flash drive or something you wanna move it to as well. Pretty cool. Now, another thing that I'm gonna recommend is whenever you're copying files, it's a better idea to use xcopy. So Windows has the copy function built in and also xcopy. So both of these tools allow you to copy files and directories, but xcopy is a little bit better because it gives you a few more features. So with xcopy, what you can do is you can actually take, let's say we wanted to take apples and copy it into bacon. So xcopy, apples, bacon. Pretty cool. So now if we go to bacon, check it out. So these files weren't here before, but what it did is it took all the files from apples and it moved them to bacon. So let's just go ahead and delete what's inside bacon. And all right. Now, another cool trick that you can do is say that what you wanted to do is actually take apples and actually, let me do this. Let me just do this from the command line. Um, new folder and I'll say inside apples and I'll make a new file I'll say uh, whatev.txt all right so check this out whenever I just try to copy apples to bacon watch what happens all right copied all that now let's look in bacon hmm let's see we actually tried to copy all of this stuff but it only appeared to copy these files. It didn't get the directory inside. And that's because the default behavior of xcopy is to only copy the files. So whenever you have subdirectories inside, like inside apples, it's going to ignore those. However, what we can do since we're using xcopy, which is kind of like an advanced um, copy, is we can actually tell it to not only copy all the files, but the subdirectories as well. How do we do that? We'll just run that same command again, but we give it the forward slash S. This means copy all of the content from apples into bacon 
and also include the subdirectories. So hit enter and check it out. Not only did it copy sample one, two, and three, it also copied inside apples. Pretty cool. So again, you're gonna be using this forward slash S most of the time. And if you guys ever just wanna look at all the features and all the different options you can use with Xcopy, again, forward slash question mark, this is gonna give you the help and look at all the stuff that you can do with it. So this is the forward slash as copies directories and subdirectories except empty ones. And that is what we just did. Now, what if, for example, here, let me get rid of this stuff. All right, so now bacon's empty. What if not only copying, but we actually wanted to take apples and move this into bacon? So what we could do in that case is instead of copy or X copy, we use the keyword move. Probably could have figured that out. So this, just like copy, it has two pieces of information that you need, the source or what are you trying to move and the destination, where are you trying to move it? So we are trying to move apples into the directory bacon. So now let's look at that and check it out. Our apples directory is gone because what we did is we took it and we moved it into bacon. So again, a really simple command, move, incredibly easy to remember. Now the last command I wanna teach you guys is just how to rename a directory. So say that, all right, instead of bacon, um, you know, that's not really the word we're going for, the file name. What we wanna do is we actually wanna rename this directory to, I don't know, ham or something. Well, all you have to type is rename and two pieces of information. What are you trying to rename? Bacon. What are you trying to rename it to? Ham. So hit enter and check it out. It took the directory bacon and renamed it to ham. Pretty awesome, so I don't know, maybe you work for like a meat company and you wanna you know, rename your bacon directory to ham, boom roasted, there you go. But yeah, that's how you copy files, move files, rename files, and directories, and I don't know. This is absolutely fantastic, and I'm actually kinda digging this green font, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is all you guys get. And I don't even know what we're going to be talking about in the next video, probably networking or something. So I'll see you guys then.